hello guys so today I have a wonderful flyer that I'm going to show you guys how to design it's a very nice one uh, as you can see uh, I'm going to show you the ins and outs how the whole flyer was designed and stay tuned if you are new to this channel try your best and then subscribe to this channel as you know Geki graphics we bring you graphic design from what you know to the unknown so graphics from known to unknown so guys just stay tuned and then let us just hop into photoshop okay so let's start by creating a new document you can basically choose any of the uh, photoshop sizes but then with this tutorial let's start with uh weight seven and then the height five you can just choose anything as i just told you earlier on so the resource that i'm using for this tutorial i've placed everything inside a folder on my desktop uh, some of them would have taken me a, a bunch of time if i was to actually do everything so what i just decided to do is one of them is this particular picture so let me first pick this picture and come and drop it into photoshop okay so you see this particular picture if you see the flyer i made earlier on uh, let me try and then show it to you once more so that you see the uh, the picture that we designed. When you look at it carefully, you see that there is an image just hidden here. I actually picked that image from this picture of Emmanuel Yabua. You get it? So uh, the picture there, that is what we did. So what you just do is, uh, let me just quickly just brush through how the pitch, the image was done. You use the pen tool uh, and then you zoom in. Once you zoom in, you can be able to know the edges of that particular picture that you want to use. So I zoomed in and then, right, I had, even with this one, what you can, you can even zoom in even better. You see that with this particular edge, when you click on it, now press on the control key. When you press on the control key, you can be able to now adjust it when you click and drag here. So now you can just start here and you can come and click in the middle, hold the control key and then, yep. So that is how we did everything just together, just like that, everything coming back together. And after that, you make a selection as you know. I did that in a previous tutorial. So if you don't know how to make selection and all those things, just watch the tutorial that we made, how to remove background and also uh, learn how to do that. So I won't just go uh, into it. So quickly, I'll just go and then get an image I've already removed the background, which is this one. So I'll just come and then drag it here. Good, not to waste much time. Okay. So basically, uh, you see I have a background that I needed to put here. Now you see one thing, when you put an image there and then you place the image wrongly and then you just click OK, see that part of the image will be cut off so what we'll do is that i'll just show you back again once you place an image there make sure that every part of the image is actually inside and then you can just go about it yeah this particular image i intentionally save it in a way that uh, that was part was cut off no problem uh let me just continue with the tutorial as i just indicated now i have a background image here you can just go online and download any favorable background for you want uh so i have this going to be my background then just click there now what i would like to do is that this particular image is a faint image that is actually not the real image that we're going to work with so what do i do i'm going to decrease the opacity when you come to the property panel uh, the layer panel you see that there is a place for this particular layer called opacity when you just click it reduce it to somewhere around uh nine or ten let's say ten ten will do uh just once you reduce it to that particular side you can just leave it that way so i'm making sure that the background actually can stay on the background now this particular image uh is an image that's supposed to stay on top of this one now what am i going to do with this image now uh what we're going to do this is a very nice trick i'm going to show you guys and this one will demand that you give us tons after this particular video okay so what i'm going to show you is simple we are going to use 
the brush tool to create a very rough edge why are we going to put this particular image as a clipping mask so i'm going to show you guys how we're going to do that uh, so first of all click on this new layer down here create a new layer once you create a new layer uh come to the brush measure brush tool when you click on the measure brush there are different kind of measure brush tool uh when you go to your brush tool you see that we have a general brush dry and then wet just go to special effect brushes and scroll through to the down there is one particular one that is the colors concept brushes when you click on it uh you increase the size to a nice size that you want so basically i have picked color yellow because i think yellow is nice and then it also matches with this nice skin that this beautiful lady is wearing so what am i going to do uh what i'll just do is simple just try and then make a nice design out of what they have here yeah something like this i hope you guys are following i uh so this video is probably sponsored by Gahi Graphics Team. Uh, whilst I'm working on this particular tutorial, my team behind me includes uh, Pa, Goodwill of Gahi Graphics, and then also Dennis. Guys, just say hello to the team. Hello. hello. <laughs> okay, guys. So let's continue. Uh, of course, you won't see their faces for now, but then you can still hear their voices. Okay. So what I'll do is that I'll just drag and then. Put this image on top of what i've just done here this is the layer which contains the brush tool that i did now click on this particular layer make sure that is on top of it right click on it and then come here there is a t an option here called uh create a clipping a uh, mask so you have to create a clipping mask when you click on the create clipping mask you see that this particular image is going to be inside this one you see it's going to be inside it that is it so basically that is a trick i want to show you once you're able to use it effectively you have almost every design and everything at your disposal so i can now manipulate the image that is on top of it uh, to see the kind of thing i want to do yep so now i just want it to look a little bit like this uh you see now let me just zoom in a little good so that you can you guys can see what i'm having here uh, so uh, so as i always say we always have graphic design from known to unknown yeah and now before i continue i could just just click on this one this layer i created and then still use the brush tool to actually make the nice particular side I, how I would like it to look like. Uh, you get it? Yep. That is it. You see. Okay, so basically that's what I want to do for now. Uh, maybe I could just add a little bit to this lady's side. Yep. Okay. So let's not waste more time. You could as well clean it if you want to. Just click on the eraser tool and then just clean those you can uh, what you want to clean. But just that you have to make sure that once you finish cleaning the aspect you want to do, not to just make the whole skin rough. Try to use it to actually brighten it a little bit. Okay. So enough of all the talking. Let's just go straight to the other aspect of what I want to do. Let me just reduce this thing a little bit. And then go right here. Now, uh, this particular image to think to be nice like this. Yes, here. Okay, so you also saw that we have a Geki Graphics, uh, the logo here, the Goki TV logo here. Now, I'll drag the TV logo inside this particular thing. It is behind what I'm having, so I'll just drag this part, particular one and bring it once it just turns to where I want it. It's okay. Now, you see, this particular one is not a PNG file as you saw in the picture I dropped earlier on. You see, there is a background layer covering everything. So, first of all, we are going to rasterize it 
Rasterization will allow us to be able to edit the picture freely. Normally, if you drop a picture, it's called a smart object. So you have to rasterize it to make it a free object that is, you can be able to edit it. Now, you see, if I click on this particular normal eraser tool, it just, you see, I will need a lot of time to be actually be able to play. So what I'll do is I'll click and hold and then come to the magic eraser tool. Of course, it's a magic, so bring everything is just disappeared. That's what I just want to do. I just wanted to remove the background in just a click and that trick is done by the magic eraser tool okay so i'll just put that particular one inside the center which is the gecky tv logo uh, okay so um the gecky tv logo so uh basically we had some few information that was actually on the flyer if you look at it carefully we have the get inspired and then an exclusive interview uh, so let's just write get inspired get inspired now you see this particular font is called the uh, agent orange that I uh, agent orange when you see I just once I just click get inspired it's normally in the capital uppercase right so I'll just click and then drag it over and come and place it just uh, on top of this particular writings. And I won't just leave it just like that. I'm just going to give it a little bit like a shadow. So I'll right click, go to blending options and then uh, this kind of shadow. Let me see. Yeah, maybe a stroke will do. Uh, and then the shadow I'll reduce the size a little bit and then the spread yeah as well as this time let's give it some kind of cool margin for it to just show itself I think I'll work on this particular thing a little bit because I'm seeing something like a bend kind of design it's not really catching attention as I wanted it There. I think now I feel a little bit released. So let's go to the kind of information that was placed there. We have an uh, get inspired inclusive interview. So don't worry if I write and you don't see anything because actually, the okay. Uh, what you're seeing is because there is something that is covering here, so I'll just drag it on top of it. So I want to even be on top of the whole writing. So exclusive interview. So. Of course, I'm not going to use the same agent group uh, orange for my writings. I'm going to use another bold uh, and also make it uppercase. So you can click on advance and then make it uppercase from this side. Okay, and then of course the color, making it this particular color. So you know how to select it, right? Select colors from those and okay so i'll use the move tool to just drag it over a little bit and put it here click enter and then just in the center right where i want to place it okay so gradually gradually we are getting to a very nice part where it's going to so be so exclusive interview where so let me just think i made a little bit of a uh, with people Spirit. Okay, sorry guys, so I was just working on my batteries was really very very low. 
Okay, so let me just continue. People with great inspiration. Uh, so yeah, I'm just. And one trick I want to give to you guys on color combination is that there are some kind of like, kind of colors that match along. And one of them is this kind of uh, should I say deep yellow or gold or more or less like an orange color. It matches a lot with brown. Yeah, if you have a kind of design with it, it matches a lot. So it's hard time maybe when you are making a design, you just combine it. It's a nice combination. Maybe in some of our uh, subsequent video we try working on color combination colors that match along. But it's a kind of hard way of learning. But then uh, the more you practice, the more you see people's design, you're able to know how to go about stuff. Okay, so guys, as always, I'll just encourage you uh, just uh, try to work on other. So. Uh, what I'm just showing you is just a reference design of what I just did earlier on. I just referred to so that I'll be able to just show you guys whatever that we did. Okay, so let's go straight to this particular aspect. You see, there's a social media logo here, which is Facebook and YouTube. Of course, go subscribe to Geki TV. Uh, it's on shoot, uh, on YouTube. They have a lot of interviews there, a lot of things to inspire you. Just get inspired, of course. So. This particular social media logos can be downloaded on the internet. You just have to just search for social media icons and then uh, you can just come and drop them here. Of course, I'm not going to use everything. I just need only Facebook and then YouTube. So what do I do? I'll just use the marquee selection tool, uh, the rectangular marquee tool. Okay, so now I'll come and then drag it over, create a rectangle over the Facebook. When I do that, now I can right click on it and then click on copy layer via, right? Now I can come and select again. This time around, I'll select YouTube. When I click over it, I will now say right click and then say layer via copy. So you see, I can now either delete this one or hide it. Once I have these two, uh, one thing I can do is that I can just draw this one closer. Of course, my space for this particular one is different from what I did here. So, uh, there is always the need for you to just adjust whilst you see that the, there is the need for you to create spaces. So, let me just make more space for this particular design. Yeah. So, I'll use the, the cropping tool to do that. Now, I can just, the background, I can just get it. Uh, there is a lot of space, a little bit, so you can just click and then increase the background a little just to let it fix. And of course, this picture too has to actually fix into the background. No matter how you do it, it's still the same design. So, uh, let's finalize things. So, you see the social media logos we have Facebook and then YouTube. Uh, I'm going to reduce the Facebook this time around, make the Facebook a little bit smaller. Mm -hmm. So once you have this Facebook there, you also can make the YouTube too smaller. Uh, but then one will be on top of the other. So how do you make it? So assuming I want the YouTube to be on top of the Facebook, I'll just come and click and then bring it on top. I, get, I hope you get it. Uh -huh. So guys, uh, just as you are seeing uh, now what I'm going to do is just to draw draw a little shadow to it but you see this particular design has some kind of writings behind it so before I write let me just go and write what is there which is key TV and I'm going to select everything click here the color uh, picker and then come and change the color to yellow that, sorry orange actually <laughs> okay guys so forget about my color uh, names I'm not actually good at them but then still do the job mm. so basically uh, almost everything that is needed is almost done um, 
so guys as as we are working on if you are having any question just drop it into in the uh, comment section and then get your graphics team will passionately address everything for you uh, we also have uh, let's just go to the final part which contains the name uh, that is the guest so how did I do the guest it's just simple go to the Eclipse tool click on the rectangular tool now use the rectangular tool to create a rectangle you want. when you create the rectangle now you see the side just inside the property panel try adjusting the this particular side you can be able to adjust it from there uh, so let me just adjust it from there so what we do is that I'll just adjust the We just adjust it yeah to the kind of style that we want it to look like uh, let's see let me say 40 mm, something 40 41 yeah something that will pick up good so that's not just all when I, when you select something like that that's not just all so what I will do is that I want to duplicate this layer so I right click on it and then go to uh, duplicate layer good so thanks so duplicate layer is the one the layer you see the layer is now duplicated you see there's a copy written on top of it so I'll just come and make this one there if I like I could just use the same two this time around I'll just make it the opposite so I'll just bring this one here this one to here and then make this one rather 41 for something there about actually didn't keep the number so somewhere 43 i don't know if it was 43 43 yeah, but that should do the trick so i'll just click on this one increase it a little bit to where my desire length is and i think this one was the color was actually brown so let me just go change it to dark Oh, let me see. How do I even get my brown? Yeah, this should do the job. But I don't like this kind of brown. A little bit darker. Good. So, guys, we're getting to the final part of it. And uh, so, the final part is that we have then the guest written here which is guest so g u s t i'll select everything i'll decrease the size to around 16 of course i can adjust it anyhow i want it now I'll right drag it over and bring it on top because it looks a little bit yeah and then the color i'll choose white for that I hope you see that you saw the way I selected the white. There is this white place here, so I just use the color picker. This time I'll just come and click here, and it will turn into white. Good. Okay, guys. So uh, I hope this is getting more interesting as you learn new tricks of how to become a professional graphic designer. Uh, let's just write the final part. We have here the, the name of the this gift for you, Ojoko T I F T Oni Ojo. Good, so I'll select everything. I can just patiently. I think you can't see right, but I can't really see because of where it is. Yeah, so. There are two things I can either make this one right smaller or I could make the other one longer. In other in other ways, so let's try and make this one rather. Right and then one thing is that color the orange color don't really look good when you write white on it, so uh, it's better to just choose this color. Yeah. 
that is you can't be able to see everything that is written there if you are if you actually look straight into it. Okay, so uh, I hope I got everything. Yeah, so this one was actually in a small small letters. So there was one more thing. Uh, you saw this one, this particular image you saw there. There was something that I added in it, which is the stroke and then shadow. So right click on it, go to blending option, and go to stroke. You stroke it a little bit with a color white. When you click on this particular thing, it will come. You have to first select ticket and then you select it. Now, when you can select the color white. And then you can just adjust the size to 10. Uh, now when you come to the shadow, drop the shadow. You see, I uh, click on the shadow. Uh, you can just make the shadows a little bit. Up, uh, the opacity reduce it to somewhere 20 there about. And then, uh, there it goes, bingo. Now this particular side, I'm just going to just give them ordinary shadows and that should do the trick. Uh, shadow should do the trick. So, as far as I'm also concerned, I think this particular design here also was given some nice. Was it given a stroke? Yeah, it was just a shadow, so let me just keep it cool. Now, let me just adjust the shadow for it to just look a little bit realistic. Yep. yeah so guys basically this is where i would like the tutorial to end i hope you learned something new for uh, a graphic design uh this might be a new thing to you or for what you have already known but then i'm sure that something that you didn't know has been learned from it so guys uh let me just save this one because somebody made a comment one of the days that person is not able to really so let me just save it as get inspired now saving it as a photoshop document if you don't know once you save it as a photoshop document you can't just uh, send it to anybody in terms of like uh, if you want to share it with people on uh, Facebook or like you can't just share it uh, as, a, as a picture so what you want to do is that after saving it as a photoshop again you follow the same uh, come and then just select P and G, uh, J P G right J P E G JPEG yeah so you come and select and then bingo uh, I want to have maximum quality so okay and let me just save this one again and then to close my work so still get inspired so um, Sorry if you already know this one already, but then just for the beginners who have been following. Okay, so uh, now if I click on this particular one, this is a PNG file and it can be shared with friends. Thank you guys for watching this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. Please subscribe to this channel, support us, support Geki Graphics, and please share our videos. Encourage somebody to learn graphic design. Graphic design is just amazing. And we are having more in our shows that we're going to bring. Please show us the love. Uh, you can contact Geki Graphics for your designs too uh, through 0248 229540 uh, in Ghana. 0248 229540. Of course, I should have just written the contact here uh, for guys to just see. Uh, so, Geki Graphics. Uh, okay so that's actually what i've been doing but then i wanted the video to be a little bit shorter so forgive me if it's actually taking you guys a lot of time mm.
so normally you just have to put it there so let me just end the tutorial here i think the rest i'll go and then just do it on my own just want you guys to see our contacts you can contact us for any graphic design work that you want us to do uh